What's up, YouTube? Uh, second video of the workout diaries. Um, I'm just going to cover a few things today in regards to a back workout. I want to give you a sample back workout. I'm going to walk you through today's workout in the gym. Uh, we did back, primarily the lats. Focus more on the lats today, upper back area. And we did a short shoulder workout. So one thing, a few quick things before I get into the actual workout, walk you through it. Took some footage in the gym today. I just want to let you guys know that there's 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 really no one correct way to work out certain muscle groups. There's no one correct workout out there. Pretty much you're going to get the best results when you take everything that you see, combine it together, and make your own thing. You want to keep your muscles shocked. You want to make it so your muscles don't know what's coming. So the workout I'm going to show you today is going to be something that might be able to work for you for three to four weeks max. Uh, you're going to want to switch it up because that's what I do. So everything that you see that I did today, the particular order I did it in can be changed. Um, the different back exercises, you can mix upper back with lower back. Just keep it different. Keep it spontaneous. Um, the one advice or the, the, the few things that I can just suggest to you would be hit the gym hard, keep your exercises to a minimum. Don't spread yourself too thin. So if you're going to do your upper back or you're going to do your lats today, make sure that you're doing maybe three to four different lat exercises, upper back exercises. Do them hard and give it your all pretty much. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into, get into the breakdown. First exercise is going to be the lat pull down. We're going to warm up with three sets of 12, 7, and 5 reps, slowly increasing the weight. Um, the workout set is going to be three sets, 10, 10, and 10 reps, maximum weight that you can do. If you feel like you can do more, you probably can, and you're going to want to do it. So second and third exercises, increase the weight if need be. Form-wise, lean back a little bit. When you pull down, really flex your lats. This is a lat exercise. Get the blood flowing. When you're coming up, you're breathing out, slowly releasing the bar. Aside from drinking water in between your sets and exercises, you're definitely going to want to do some sort of stalling exercise and stretch. This is going to get the blood flow into the muscles that you're working out. It's really important. You're going to notice more of a swell. You're going to feel more of a pump in all your exercises. So what I like to do if I'm doing my lats, I'm going to walk over to um, to the, the pull-up bar. I'm going to slowly, gradually pull my way up, then slowly release myself down. I'll do this one or two times depending on how I feel. In addition to that, just grab something for your lats. Just pull down. Hold the stretch 10 to 15 seconds on each side. You'll definitely notice results. The second exercise that you're going to be doing is going to be a dumbbell row. I like to do it on the, on the dumbbell rack. You can also do it by using a bench. Uh, things to keep in mind here is definitely going to be keep your back straight. You know, it's it's a little bit strenuous when you're doing heavy weight. Just just try. You know, trying to keep the right posture during the exercise is half the battle. I bend my knees a little bit. Get your butt down. This lets me make my back more flat, easier. Um, we're not going to warm up for this exercise. Everything having to do with the lats now. Your lats are already warm, so the warm up exercise is not needed. What you're going to want to do is jump right to your workout set, most weight possible, three sets of 10. Next exercise is going to be the row machine. Pretty much any other lat exercise will do. Just make sure you're working hard, heaviest possible weight, three sets, 10 reps each one. This is going to be the last 
upper back lat exercises we're going to do for the day. Um, pretty much, just like the previous exercise, you're going to want to do whatever lat exercise you want to do. Uh, we have in our gym this machine. It's pretty much just another pull down. Pull ups are good, weighted pull ups are good. Really, like I said earlier, mix and match. Do what you need to do. Same thing goes for this exercise three sets, 10 reps each set. Keep it heavy, keep it intense, keep the blood flowing. Make sure you're stretching in between your sets and doing any type of stalling exercises as well. Second muscle group that I'm going to do for the day is going to be shoulders. Basically what I do is I divide the days into the big muscle groups and the small muscle groups. I take one big muscle group, one, one muscle out of that group for the day, take one of the smaller muscle groups for the day, and I put them together. So one time I might do back, which is the major muscle group, and I'll do it with shoulders like I did today. Or I might even do back with a tricep uh, muscle group. I'll do a bicep. I switch it up throughout the week. So I don't always do back and shoulders. First shoulder exercise is going to be a shoulder press. I rotate between the machine and dumbbells depending on how I feel that day. Um, basically what I'm going to do is warm up sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes my body's ready to go. No need to warm up. If you feel like you need to warm up your shoulders, they feel stiff, anything like that, by all means. Today I didn't warm up. I did three sets of 10, heaviest possible weight on the press. Next exercise is going to be a machine shoulder raise. I alternate, like with the presses, with the dumbbells in this exercise. I'll show you the dumbbells um, at a later video. So this is going to be the machine raises, three sets of 10. OK, so the last exercise of the day is going to be shrugs. Um, this is just going to cap off everything. I know you're going to be tired. I was tired today at the end. Last set, best set, last exercise, best exercise. Give it everything. Um, basically, what I did here is I supersetted the front shrugs with the rear shrugs. So I only did two sets, but one set being 10 front, 10 in the back. Make sure when you're doing this that you keep your back straight. When you're pulling up with the shrugs, don't roll your shoulders. Come straight up and straight down. Okay, so that was the back and shoulder exercises. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something from it. I'm going to be posting up more back and shoulder exercises. I might have back and shoulders combined with different muscle groups in the next videos. Just make sure when you're doing these things, keep your intensity level up. Keep the exercises different. Mix and match. Do different things. It's very important. Um, it also helps to have, have a partner in the gym. If you can't have one, if you can't get one, you know, you got to stay self-motivated, but it's always nice to have somebody spotting you so you can keep the intensity level up. You know, you can do more weight. You don't have to worry about getting hurt. It's safer when you have a partner. It's just all around a better experience. But uh, I hope this was helpful. Again, stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to have some chest exercises, some leg exercises coming up very soon. Make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of different things coming to the channel. Hope you enjoyed. Special thank yous to Felix, my best friend, the cameraman today, for being a great sport and uh, helping with the film today. Special thanks to Ago, my brother, for working, working in the gym, working hard, staying funny, keeping it exciting. Special thanks to my new workout buddy, Brian. Uh, hopefully we can all work out, develop together. Special thanks to my first hater, Greg. Because of you, I'll be a little more popular. Special thanks to Nigel, my favorite white boy. And special thanks to Sam, who told me to stop shaking my legs so much in the videos. It's little things like this that definitely help. Hi, safe. Yeah.
That's 1080p. <laughs> <laughs>